Okay, we uh, had the General Electric refrigerator that was on the Fritz. This was a model number here, GBS22KBSBCC. Okay, so looks like it was 2004 or 2005 model. It was clicking on and off. It was going to click, 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 click. And when the door was open, the light was blinking. And um, what was happening then was I went around, pulled the refrigerator out, uncovered the box, uncovered the board, the logic circuit board, plate here, which is hidden behind the plate. Then I had to remove the back panel. So I was back here. I wanted to make sure that everything was clean. The coils were clean. The compressor was clean. Here's the relay. What was happening was double clicking. It was click, 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 click. The light was blinking on, off, on, off, on, off. And it wasn't the relay that starts the compressor. But it was this other little relay in here that wasn't actuating properly because the capacitors on the motherboard, two of them were failing. And when they start failing, then the voltage isn't going properly and, uh, and there was all kinds of problems. So it was very, it was short cycling. Click, 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 click was an on off, on off, on off. The compressor would turn for just a moment and then stop and a moment and stop. And, of course, that wear and tear is going to cause other issues. So we unplugged the refrigerator. I took the back off the refrigerator to inspect the, the motherboard. And this board here is uh, a WKKT model number 0158-06-03. The capacitors, which are these little round cylinders, they currently are marked with the red marker. That was from the factory. Okay, those are capacitors. Um, due to the capacitor problem, you can look up at badcaps.net. Um, there were many, many, many millions, hundreds of millions of bad capacitors produced over a period of time. I had to replace these two capacitors here. Um, fortunately, there was a store not too far. I purchased them. Each one has two legs. They are oriented. See the minus sign here and a minus sign here. They're oriented positive and negative. Keep the negatives in the same direction. But there's only two legs. So I had to desolder two legs on each capacitor. Make sure the hole was clear of solder. Insert the new ones all the way through and then resolder them. Then I plugged the board back in. The plugs only fit in one location so there's no worry about plugging them into the wrong locations and it's working so I'm going to show you what the bad capacitors look like and, and how to identify failing capacitors in uh, my next video in just a moment.